hopefully everyone that is listening knows that the angle of a complete circle is 360 degrees. So if you turn one round, it's 360. Now why is it 360? There is no reason. Why, why shouldn't it be 100 or 200 or 1000 degrees? Now this is probably due to some historical reason where it's got to do with the rotation of the Earth around the Sun. So one, one year is about 365 days, which is close to 360. So historically, from different cultures, there is this affinity with the number 360. So it makes sense that one complete round is 360. Is there a better way to describe an angle of a complete circle? So 360 is a number that is man-made. Is there something that is more natural? Now for that, you have to look at a circle. A circle on Earth is the same as a circle on Mars or on the Andromeda galaxy somewhere far away. If there is an alien or there are alien species, they will know what a circle is. Now the thing about a circle is that there is a very special property. If you will take a ruler and if you were to measure the circumference of the circle and then you measure the diameter, the circumference of the circle divided by the diameter will always give you pi. Now this is true no matter where you are, whether you are in this world or you are in another galaxy. And that is true for any circle, so of any size. So if you were to draw a circle anywhere and you measure the circumference and, and the diameter, if you divide it, you will get pi. 3.142, it's a special, very special number. We didn't choose it. It is there and it is embedded by nature. Another number that is embedded in nature is the number 1. 1 means unity. It's either 1 or 0. So no matter what is the base of your number, we are using base 10 because we have 10 fingers. If you have 11 fingers, you will still understand what is 1. 0, 1, 2, and then it goes up. Uh, computers understand binary numbers 0 and 1. So 1 is also something, a value that is embedded in nature. So if we have a circle and then we set the radius to 1, r is equals to 1, one complete circle will be circumference is equals to the diameter times pi. And the diameter is 2 because the radius is 1. So you will have 2 pi. So one round, the circumference is 2 pi. Now this is a much more natural unit than 360. Over here, 360 means one round. But when we set the radius to 1, one round means 2 pi. So if there are alien species that are advanced and they know math, they will also have this unit system. And this 2 pi is equivalent to one circle is known as the radian mode. So let's see how we can use this. So if 2 pi is equivalent to 360 degrees, you can easily find any other angle in radian mode. So correspondingly, 180 degrees will be pi and 90 degrees will be pi over 2. So you can always convert between radian and degree. So for example, if you want to find what is 23 degrees in radian mode, all you will have to do is to take pi divided by 180 times the degrees. So if you press your calculator for this, you will have the answer. So let's look at something that is a little more concrete. For sine x is equal to 0 0.45, find x in radian mode. Previously, we have already learned how to solve for x. x is simply just sine inverse 0 0.45. Now, if you, are, if you press the calculator, you will have the answer. You can change between the modes in your calculator. So there is this degree mode, and then there is the radian mode. So you will have to look at the manual of your calculator, change the mode of your calculator to radian, and then just key in 
sine inverse 0 0.45. So instead of degrees, you will have 0 0.467 radians. You have to be very careful when you toggle between the modes of your calculator because if you mess up, you may think that this is 0 0.467 degrees, which is wrong. So if your answer is in radian modes, remember to write down radians behind. Now once you get out of secondary level and you go up, nobody cares whether you write radian or not because when you do not write anything behind, we all know that it is radian mode. And if you want to write in degrees, you will just have to write it explicitly as 26.75, 26.8 degrees. So writing this means degree and if you don't write, we know that it is radian. But in a secondary school level, you have to write radians to make it explicitly clear. So don't forget that. So how do you convert from this radian mode to degree? Simply just take 180 degrees divided by pi multiply by 0 0.467. You will have your answer. So you need to know how to trans translate from degree to radians, radians to degrees. But it is it is a simple method because you know it is proportional.